Good day, my fellow data storytellers. If you're like me and you were watching Build last week, my gosh, the one thing that got me most excited more than anything else was the new version, SSMS 21, getting finally released to GA. And the other super exciting announcement, SSMS Copilot is now in public preview. I have been waiting for this so long and now it's finally here and I cannot get into it fast enough and I want to help you get started with it quickly. If you're lurking to get started with SSMS Copilot in public preview, here's a quick guide on how to get it installed in your SSMS on this chapter of DataBard. All right, quick reference guide on how to set up SSMS Copilot. If you're looking to follow along with this, two prerequisites you need. First of all, download and install SSMS 21. Brand new version, just went GA last week at Microsoft Build. On top of what I'll show you today, it has a bunch of significant improvements. I'll release a video later on with more details on that. Second thing you'll need is you'll need to be able to create an Azure OpenAI resource that you can use with your SSMS. That is what's going to give you the co-pilot capability. Sorry if you're looking to use other versions of LLM models. Right now, the Azure OpenAI option is the only one that works here. Have those two prerequisites and you're ready to get started with today's demonstration. Let's jump to the demo. So the first thing I want to cover before we get into the configuration is to make sure people understand this SSMS is going to be a little bit different. I'm still coming out to the Microsoft Learn page here to find the install, and I'm going to click on this link to download it here under step two. But when I do, notice it has VS underscore SSMS. Is this Visual Studio or is it SSMS? Well, it's SSMS 21, which is rebuilt on modern versions of the Visual Studio kernel. So if you see this file, it's going to be a different naming convention from what we've been used to that is expected. Download this, go through the prompts, install it, and you'll have SSMS 21 running for you. Now, I already have SSMS 21 installed, and I'll show you at least in case you have it already installed and you didn't set the particular checkbox, I can go back into the Visual Studio installer, click modify, and the checkbox I want to make sure I hit here is this one on the top left, AI Assistance. What this does is this installs an extension in SSMS 21. That's right, SSMS 21 has extensions now. And the extension is what is going to let me have the Copilot capability. Get that set up, and here I am in my lovely SSMS environment. Now we need the Azure OpenAI side. Let's go and configure that. Now let's create that Azure OpenAI resource, which I'll go out to my list of resources in the portal, hit create, and then I'll follow the prompts here to create the resource itself. For the most part, I'm gonna just pick defaults here, and the naming conventions, as always, should be what makes the most sense for your organization, follows your patterns, makes it easy to find things. Note here that in current state, Azure OpenAI has just a single pricing tier. Don't let that trip you up. Also, for sake of simplicity, I'm opening up this Azure OpenAI resource to all networks, not just my organization's network, but I can choose to do private endpoints or something similar if I want. I hit the Create button, and then we wait here for the resource itself to create. Now with my Azure resource deployed, I'm going to go under Resource Management, Keys and Endpoints, and there's two pieces of information I need here. One is the key, the other is the endpoint. Those are two of the three points that we need of data in order to be able to do this deployment. Now I need to go into the Azure OpenAI resource and I need to create a model to deploy. I'm gonna go in and under deployments, I'm gonna just deploy model and deploy a base model. Now one important point here, the only model that supports the preview version right now is GPT 4.0. No other version of an LLM is currently supported to do this. 
I'm going to give it a name that at least indicates this model's use for SSMS, but again, naming conventions, use what you want. I'll leave the rest of these settings here by default. And with everything good to go, I'll hit that deploy button at the bottom of the screen and wait for my model to deploy. The important thing that I need to note once the model is deployed is I need to make sure I have the name of the model as that is the third piece of information we require in order to successfully configure this in SSMS. With that, let's shift back to SSMS and we'll finish our configuration. Once I have that Azure OpenAI resource provisioned and I have that model deployed to the resource, I now can add it into my SSMS here. If you don't have a Copilot configured for SSMS yet, you can just hit the Copilot button up here and it'll prompt you for those three pieces of information, the endpoint, the deployment, and the API key. I'm gonna go ahead then and we will copy over an endpoint. We'll copy over an endpoint, the name of the model, and the key that I can use to access the resource itself. Hit Launch Copilot, and if all goes well with the configuration, the window disappears, and you've got Copilot as your option on the right. Now, if at any point you find yourself wanting to do this configuration again, and you don't get that initial prompt because you've already configured it, there's another way to find it. I'll go into my Tools, Options, and then here under my environment information, if I scroll down, I'm gonna find a co-pilot section with Azure OpenAI settings. From here, I can go in and I can make the exact same configurations that are in that prompt. All right, configuration done. Let's confirm that this works. We'll have that co-pilot button on our top toolbar. Sure enough, there's a chat window on the right and a quick prompt shows that we can get a response from that open AI resource that we created. And just like that, SSMS in Copilot. Woohoo! Couple of quick configurations, and now you've got the power of Copilot within your SSMS experience. Pretty cool, huh? For all of the other Copilots we've seen in the Microsoft ecosystem, it seemed like this one was a long time coming, and lo and behold, here it is. People like me who spend their lives day in and day out working with SQL Server Management Studio now have a co-pilot to support us with all of our work, whether it be profiling environments, administering environments, data engineering, and more. I'll be doing videos from here on out that further clarify specific use cases where SSMS Copilot can provide you benefits. But honestly, I've gotten the chance to try it now and I am hooked. Please give it a try. This is a fantastic product. Just remember, since you're working with Azure OpenAI, your pricing on this is going to be consumption based. So the more you use it, the more it will cost. The less you use it, the less it's going to cost. Either way, you're going to get value out of it. I'm fairly certain about that. Trust me, it's an experience you want to get your hands on. That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If this was helpful, please hit that like, subscribe button here so that other people can learn from this video as well and we can get more people working in SSMS Copilot. If you have any questions about SSMS Copilot or Microsoft Fabric or really anything about the data industry, please let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to answer those questions in future videos. For now, I'm Data Bard and I'll see you in the next chapter.